Our kids are waiting. Salin sir, you are welcome to Delhi and welcome to this place. Very nice to meet you. Vijay Dev, Chief Secretary. Chief Secretary. Hi, please. I am very good. How are you? together but they said you are very busy and next time I would be very happy to have you at my place. So can we can we please clear this? Thank you please security also please clear this. He is our director of education. This was the condition of the schools earlier. Very bad. All the schools were in this condition. Thank you. 
यह हर वो फैसिलिटी है जो प्राइवेट में मिलती है और बेशक उससे ज्यादा उसकी चर्चा पूरी दुनिया के अंदर हो रही है दिल्ली के अंदर लोग अपने बच्चों को प्राइवेट स्कूल से निकाल के सरकारी स्कूलों में भर्ती करा रहे हैं शायद भारत के इतिहास में यह पहली बार हो रहा है was developed where a lot of uh, educationists from across the globe were hired and uh, uh, they are a part of sir, uh, our directorate also and we try to bring all the reforms in uniformity with them. Sir, uh, there is huge uh, financial and decision making powers which are devolved to school principals because it was thought that school principals are key in bringing the reforms sir. Sir, uh, they are uh, allowed to hire estate managers who are able to, uh, who take care of all the cleanliness and infrastructure issues. They have, sir, uh, now we have uh, security guards and cleaning services also which are outsourced. So that way, sir, the school infrastructure uh, has improved a lot, sir. And uh, regular day-to-day -day maintenance has uh, uh, seen a considerable improvement, sir. So there is a, uh, there is a very uh, good culture of celebration and recognition in, sir, uh, among school principals and teachers. They are rewarded at every stage in district, at zonal level and at the state level also, sir. Sir, if you would like to see the results, sir, in 2014-15, sir, the Delhi government uh, pass percentage in class 12 was Delhi government school was 88%, which was below the government school. But, sir, as we went ahead, now, sir, if you see in 2019-20, the pass percentage in Delhi government school was 98%, but that of private schools was 92%, and Indian against the national average of 89%. Sir, uh, we would also like to tell that more than 500 students from any government schools qualify every year, sir, with JE mains and NEET. Sir, in fact, this year, All India ranked 165 in AIMS was from Delhi government school. Sir, apart from that, around more than 3.5 lakh students have shifted from private schools to government schools, sir. Sir, these are the three curricular reforms, sir. These are the mindset curricula that have been developed, sir. One is happiness curriculum, the second is entrepreneurship mindset curriculum and third is Deshbhakti curriculum. Sir, we will be taking you uh, to the classes in all the three curriculum, sir. So, we would like to especially mention that happiness curriculum has got international recognition. In fact, uh, first lady of US when Madam Melania Trump came to India, she visited one of our uh, happiness curriculum classes. 
Sir, uh, this is one important aspect in bringing educational reforms in Delhi, sir, that uh, pedagogy and focus has been given on training of teachers and principals. So, sir, our teachers and principals, tie-ups have been made with University of Cambridge, with universities in Finland, NI, Singapore, and also in IIMs. So, sir, our principals and teachers regularly go in uh, mid-career training in these uh, institutions, sir. Apart from this, sir, we have uh, started a mentor teacher program, teacher development coordinator program, and cluster leadership development program, where we identify a special set of motivated teachers and principals and groom them and try to execute all the government policies through those mentor teachers. They go to the schools, they have been allotted various schools where they execute all these programs, they also monitor the progress and handhold the schools and teachers. Sir, our, uh, we also send uh, our teachers, we encourage our teachers to go on uh, uh, global trainings. So our teachers go on full pride fellowships. Sir, we have tie-ups with the uh, British Council of India and uh, we are also tying up with other global universities now, sir to give state of the modern uh, training which focuses not only on pedagogy but also on now recently uh, incoming uh, the, the new features like educational technologies and all sir. Teachers are sent for training. All the school principals are sent abroad for training. US, Canada, Singapore and all the teachers are being sent to finance. I am in the this is the last slide, sir. Uh, sir, now the vision of Honorable Chief Minister and Deputy Chief Minister is on bringing the uh, overall uh, uh, reforms in the way assessment is done and teaching learning happens in schools, sir. The focus is, sir, to shift from the rote learning to formative learning. So right now what happens that there is summative learning that after uh, uh, after a complete year, a student has to undergo a written examination at the end. Now, sir, the focus is that you take continuous assessment of the student rather than one exam, sir. So, sir, in that line, a Delhi Board of School Education has been formed, sir. And uh, more than 30 schools have been affiliated, government schools have been affiliated. Sir, we have the, the another scheme that has been started is the School of Specialized Excellence. So, sir, in these schools, interdisciplinary approach is being used. So, sir, more than 20 subjects, are, new subjects are being developed in this school, sir. Uh, looking at the needs of the current uh, generation, like sir, web development design, coding, industry automation, fashion technology. In school, we have tried to shift the focus to training them for specific jobs. Because they come out and they don't get any jobs. So we are encouraging them to these all these schools. One of the schools will tra train them for army. One of the schools will train them for visual performing arts. So when they come out of twelfth class, they will have some skills. And all very poor children. Very poor children. And sir, this, sir, this new examination board is very important because what we usually think that we write education policies and we write good documents about what education should actually deliver. But what happens at the end of year, we actually examine only rote learning powers. So unless and whatever we call, I mean, we write in the national education policy, education should be holistic, education should be humane and blah, blah, blah. But what happens exactly? Class teacher standing in the classroom teaches just based on last year, last five year questions only. They never look at the policy papers, what was the intent of the subject, what was the content of... They just look five year class papers and they teach accordingly, this was important, this is important, this is important. So we are changing the whole ex examination system now. Unless you can assess the student based on the actual outcomes that we look forward, we can't force our teacher to teach on that level. So through this board, we are introducing this new way of teaching that and students examined. will be judged and examined on the basis of regular things that we actually wish to wish students to get. So this board is very big experiment. We have uh, done tie-ups with IB board in this, and IB is helping us to develop those things. Sir, thanks, sir. Like you said, collaboration is very important in this. Sir. We have tied up with IB board. IB. Then, sir, we have tied up for development of courses in IIT Delhi. Tata Institute of Social Sciences, we have tied up with NIF Delhi, we have tied up with Global Music Institute, we have also tied up with National School of Drama. And sir, our assessment, we are collaborating with Australian Council of Education Research, our project monitoring unit is Boston Consultancy Group. So sir, the idea is to bring a complete now change in the way teaching is happening in schools. So sir, now uh, we would request you sir to come for a visit. Or if any, any, anything, any, anything, if you want to ask anything, others will take over for a
English improvement. Uh, sir, we have tied up with British Council of India. So now, uh, last year also, sir, 40,000 of our students were taught by uh, Macmillan Education Foundation. And focus is both on uh, spoken English, English. And spoken English. Sir. And many students speak very fluent English now in government schools. Our teachers, English teachers especially, are being trained by American Embassy. They have a US program on English teacher training and then British Council. So just to just to add this because volume I understand is a problem, but and when we spoke to these Finland people and Singapore people, they also have their bandwidth. They can't accommodate more than 30 teachers at a time, and throughout year they have very limited scope. So, but what happens if you, even if we send 30 teachers in a batch and maybe 300 teachers in a year or so? What happens? They actually when they come back, the whole ecosystem of the school changes. They try to do something new. Especially we started with head of the school, that is principal. So when principals came back and they started changing, then we saw changes in the teachers also. So these things... Broadly, there were three stages when we took over. At that time, the infrastructure was so bad. You saw the condition of the buildings. You saw there was no cleanliness. There was no drinking water available in the schools. The toilets were so bad that the girls had to go to their houses if they wanted to use the toilets. So if first go, we decided to allocate a huge budget for the entire thing. So 25% in one go, we decided to allocate to education. So we decided to improve the infrastructure. Cleanliness, security, water, toilets. This were, these were the four or five things initially in the first year we improved in across the... This gave a confidence in the entire system that this government means business. Then we started demolishing the existing buildings and constructing new buildings. And you see the kind of buildings that we have today. We now have swimming pools in the schools. You can't even think of swimming pools in a government school. We have very good infrastructure. Second stage was teachers and principals because these are the people who have to teach. So we started, send, we sent most of the principals abroad and we sent teachers to IMs for training. So when they came back, they were full of energy and confidence to do something. And the third now is the concent we are concentrating on the content of what we are teaching. Their happiness curriculum, their shakti curriculum, uh, entrepreneurship curriculum, all these things are now being brought into the system. These are all Delhi government schools. Corporation manages primary schools. They are not in our control. So their condition is really bad. But all the, uh, up, uh, after fifth class, they are all with us. So there, when the children come from fifth class to sixth class, there's a little problem right now. But then we gear up, gear them up. And in 2015, in 2015, we started uh, having nursery class, students from nursery classes also in our school. So approximately 500 schools we have right now, where we take students from the nursery classes also. This is school, sir, where you are sitting. In 2015, this used to be called Tentwala School. This, this, did, Very not bad. A, this did not have a pakka building, the school. It was there in the tents. So now this, you can see the building of the school. Even the reservation as you have mentioned like more than 500 students have been admitted to each premium school. Yes. So now around the school. And the biggest, this thing is that this year, this the latest data was not shown, more than 99, we, the 12th class results are more than 99 percent. Yeah. Delhi government now schools. we are focusing more on the so we have to learn, they are also, I was discussing with the Secretary and Education Minister before, they have started uh, very interesting things on inviting, engaging with volunteers in rural areas. So yeah. so telling them these things we can learn from Punjab also. 
Чеприку. Принципал, мэм? Сейчас принципал от этого скорта. Чили скорта. Пакетин. So we have started a program where 11th and 12th class, we give 2000 rupees to each student and we say that you try to do some business with us. So few students come together, 5 students, 10 students and they pull their money. And so suppose 5 students come together, it becomes 10,000 rupees. Then they think of a business idea and then they produce their product and they set it in the market. So 52,000 ideas have come all across Delhi. And then we had an investment summit where we called the biggest industrialists of the country. There the students presented their ideas and they got investments in several lakhs of rupees from the industrialists. So now 11th and 12th class students are ready with business ideas when they pass out from the school. So we are going to one such entrepreneurship class. Morning to all of you, respected dignitaries. Varakkam sir, here I would like to start with a quote. Oru prachennai, oru prachennai, oru prachennai orugu. So it means that problems, a problem always needs a solution. And it is said that a problem always needs to be solved, or it is to be lived. But if it is not to be solved, then we need to search for a solution. And for that, in 2019, the Delhi government launched our EMC program, Entrepreneurship Mindset Curriculum. And this business cluster is one of the practical component of this program, under which all of these students were given their seed money of rupees 2000 each, and they had to invest that money and create their projects. So here I would like to request you to please visit our entrepreneurs. So these are few of our projects out of 51,000 ideas prepared at the school level. So please. Namaste sir, good morning. Good morning. So our uh, work is basically working on traditional artworks. And How many of you are there in this team? So only two. Two, two of you. Four thousand so, rupees. Yes, yes, yes sir. sir. So we were given so four thousand rupees, and we have generated the revenue of one lakh fifty thousand. So they, with four thousand rupees, they have earned one lakh fifty thousand rupees. <laughs> yes, sir. We are employing twenty-five local artists and three from Tamil Nadu, yes, Chennai, sir. and Madurai. <laughs> yes, sir. Interesting. And they are producing these paintings and selling them in the market. Logo sir is job seekers to job provider. Good afternoon. Good afternoon sir. Sir. How many of you are there? Sir, there are two teams. Two teams, okay. Yes, Combined together. Yes, sir. Producing the same product. No, sir. Okay. These are two ideas. Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, our These are the boxes. Yes, yes sir. So they produce these boxes and sell it in the market. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sir, idea is that they should explore themselves, even if they fail. If they fail means I mean, they are not able to earn that much that was invested. They learn At from the failure. Their mind also. starts. Uh, how much did you earn? Sir, uh, my name is Ishan Mandel. I am the I am the member of Team the Craft House. We are make a uh, crafting. Uh, crafting handmade lighting items and uh, our products is 95% biodegradable product and eco-friendly products and that's a very good option of gifting option also and it is uh, our product is pocket friendly product so how much you invested in how much you earned uh, sir uh, uh, in total in total yes, we revenue, revenue is 20,000 rupees and how many is Profit, four? Pro, yes, sir. four so you got 8,000 from 8,000 you made 20,000 yes, good so you were asking whether they can speak English. All of them speak fluent English. <laughs> sir, uh, 
our uh, startup name is digital suraksha we make uh, security related devices and our first device name is chor machai shor and uh, our uh, the theft uh, we stop the theft because theft is a uh, uh, first stage of crime if we stop the theft uh, it will be no crime in future so for the shops they have invented this device yes. this is the sms one no? yes, yes. so they with calling they calling, calling system with the alternative yeah. system so the owner of the shop if some 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 thief come and break the shutter lock, shutter, shutter. shutter. Oh. so they automatic will... call will go to the owner store oh, yes. and we have got 1.75 lakh uh, lakhs of investment and after that uh, we have generated 60000 of revenue good yes. thank you <coughs> 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 This is the bio. Sir, uh, we are manufacturing an aluminium common plastic, which is a biodegradable and decomposable, and it is water soluble also. And it will be converted to fertilizer over a period of time when it is decomposed. The substitute for plastic. Yes, yes, yes sir. sir. How much did you earn? Sorry, sir. How much did you earn? How much money did you earn? Sir, uh, due to uh, uh, incompletion of license and uh, they have applied for license yes, to the government to start using this product and, and testing. Sir, otherwise, but this is one of the biggest solution to the policy. Uh, we have ordered from uh, international countries, also like Australia. Very good. <laughs> So we are tech up and we make computers better. We have created a customized like Windows thing that is called operating system that we install on any kind of computer and it increases the speed up to 200 percent. We already have 70 customers that have like applied our operating system in their computers and all of them are fully satisfied. And we have uh, till now made 60,000 of revenue from four of you, 8,000 rupees. Uh, no sir, uh, we ha we are uh, investment to eight thousand rupees. How Four many? Of us. How many of you are there? Uh, like we are in total six, but two are not here. Right. So twelve thousand. Yes sir. These are all eleven, twelfth class students. Something of a different nature. Namaskar, Sanjay. We are team Rangbahar Academy. We are providing high-end education for the next generation. Unique testing tools. We have used 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 Unique testing tools. How much did you earn? Small gift. <laughs> This is for you. Sir. 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 Uh, 15,000. 15,000. Very good. Three, four of you. Yes. Now, sir, uh, we are Mystic Days, and our product name is Mystic Days. And we are giving an option in market instead of chai and coffee. And this product is best in taste and superior in health. We are five members in the team. We have raised the seed money of rupees 10,000. We have generated a revenue of 50,000 in one month. And we have raised the investment of 17 lakh. In uh, the expo of fifth March. Very nice. Sir, taste करना चाहेंगे? Sir, sir, so here we are, Square Dog Dreamers, who have made portable cardboard furniture. TCA. Portable cardboard furniture is an eco-friendly <coughs> furniture which is very lightweight, but it can withstand 300 kg of weight. Mm -hmm. And It can made. It is made of waste cardboard, and that uh, Brinker said it can put 300 kg of weight, and you can also sit on this. <laughs> and the another thing is that for an investment of uh, 500 rupees, uh, we get a revenue of uh, uh, 1500. And for an investment of 2100. And uh, this is our product, and we can now we sold three products, and uh, this is our product. Very good. Very good. So this, these are every these are child is there are fifty one thousand such ideas where children are working on. Them. And that's all here. What I want to say, Oru Prachen Nayi Ungal, Oru Prachen Nayi Ungal, and thus it means that a problem always needs a solution. And this was our solution where we have gained something and we have learned so many skills. So thank you so much for being here, sir. Manakam sir. <laughs> <laughs> sir, sir, very interesting thing is this: we have installed solar panels on the rooftops, 
and uh, I, I also, I mean, but you can tell no, what. Like, earlier we were receiving this much amount of bills, oh, you know, per month. One lakh rupees, rupees. Yes. now zero no, bills. Zero. We are uh, <laughs> producing electricity. That's very interesting. Oh. So cost saving and, uh, and green energy. experiment of happiness classes two three years back all these children come from very poor background they have a lot of stress relation in their houses and so every day when they come to the school 45 minutes they are taught meditation and uh, introspection moral stories it has had huge impact in their daily lives first we are taking sir to uh, the nursery primary wing where uh, as we said earlier there used to be very few primary classes in our government city. Right. <coughs> so we have introduced. Coming from maximum two, three kilometers. <coughs> so, uh, so, my happiness class, my eight class students have now, today the session starts, new session starts 2023. So now they have passed and come into nine. So you can ask the experiences last three years, how they felt the happiness, curriculum quality students. You can share the experiences, ask them what uh, touched their lives and how happiness has gone home, how cordial relations they are forming in the classes, the gratefulness, the gratitude they feel for each other, for the teachers and for the parents. So what do you do in the happiness class? Anyone can get up and tell us. What is a happiness class? Mr. Stalin is the chief minister of Tamil Nadu. You know all that? Yes, sir. So he wants to know what, what do you do in the happiness class? You are writing about a person who you feel very happy about. Yes. Anyone else? Sir, we do mindfulness and different types of activities. Meditation? Yes, sir. Okay. Which helps us to uh, uh, explain that we want to happy. That uh, what should we do? Be happy. If we can help you be happy. So every day in the morning you have a happiness class? Yes, yes sir. How much time? Fifteen minutes. What is the impact of these classes? Effect of this class? Which change I have in there? Yes, sir. What was the change you feel? Sir, we find these forms. You feel? How you to feel. control our emotions. Anger as well. Sir, it reduces depression anxiety, and 
<laughs> we actually focus on relationship also. And uh, usually in our country we have been teaching moral science stories since ages. But the problem with moral science stories is that every story you should tell, you, you should tell, you should speak truth, you should be kind, you should, 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 should. But how do we do that? Emotional science was not being touched. But in this happiness class we touch actually the emotional science. Like just for a quick example, we touch a story. Um, there was this girl who was climbing on some rock and she was carrying her brother in her lap. So some kind gentleman, kind hearted gentleman requested her that you must be tired. So let me carry your baggage. So this girl replied that it could be baggage for you. He is my brother. <laughs> so the story ends here. But the class starts from there. So for ne next week, entire next week, the students are forced to think in their own life. When and where they actually felt any of their relationship as a baggage. So they note down, they discuss, they express that yes, we consider that relationship to be baggage. Thank you. Right here. I signed up with some of the Facebook people and you can ask them how. I was just asking them whom did they pay gratitude to. Can anybody of you tell me whom did you pay gratitude to today? Ma'am, I pay gratitude to teachers in my school. Can I know why? Because teacher teaches very closely and speakers mean us for the classroom and for the. Yes? Yes, I pay gratitude to the universe because we could not have survived without it and it had made us survive and then that's it. Is there any question you would like to ask? <laughs> it's an honor to have you here, sir, giving your blessings to our students. So in Deshbhakti class, we, this was his idea, sir, that we should teach yes. Deshbhakti to our students and the students who are coming out of the school should be hardcore patriots. Can anybody of you tell sir why we are uh, here for Desh Bhakti? Why we are reading, uh, studying Desh Bhakti? Yes, yes, yes. Because we want to make our country proud and we want to uh, see the whole world, let's see that we are Indian and we are proud to be Indian and we can do everything. And how will you make your India proud? What and will you do? Lots of things like we will become a very good citizen. Very good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Very good, very nice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. In the state, over the district, like we are having this new program for unprecedented freedom right now. So we are visiting all the new places. We are also just educating them. Yeah. But thinking those things into mind. Yeah, that is good. We're taking the swimming pool. So wherever possible we have, uh, wherever we have, the land is very problem in Delhi. We don't have land and it's the rarest thing. But still, wherever was possible we have sports facilities, world class sports facilities. And this school is having a good swimming pool. And uh, students, I mean we are, send, we are proud to say that we are sending now champions from these schools. Principal, ma'am, up. schools now have swimming pools and very good schools. <laughs> <laughs> 
Stalin, the Chief Minister, Honorable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, has come to visit our school. We just saw the school. After this, we will go to see the Mohalla Clinic also. It's an honor and it's a privilege, it's a pleasure to have him. We took a round of the school. I'll request him to share his experiences. Uh, how was your experience, sir? Sir, how was your experience? வாய்ப்பு <laughs> அதை நான் அழைத்துச் சென்று காண்பிக்கிறேன் என்று முதல்வர் டெல்லியினுடைய சீஃப் மினிஸ்டர் அவர்கள் என்னை இங்கு அழைத்து வந்திருக்கிறார்கள் அதற்காக முதலில் அவருக்கு நான் என்னுடைய நன்றியை தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கிறேன் தமிழ்நாட்டிலே புதிதாக ஆட்சிப் பொறுப்பு பெற்றிருக்கக்கூடிய எங்களுடைய ஆட்சி எல்லா துறைகளுக்கும் எந்த அளவிற்கு முக்கியத்துவம் தருகிறோம் அதைவிட அதிகமானவர்களுக்கு கல்விக்கும் மருத்துவத்துக்கும் அதிகமான முக்கியத்துவத்தை நாங்கள் தந்து கொண்டிருக்கிறோம் இன்றைக்கு இந்த மாடர்ன் பள்ளி எப்படி நடந்து கொண்டிருக்கிறதோ அதே போல ஒரு பள்ளியை தமிழ்நாட்டிலே விரைவில் நாங்கள் உருவாக்க போகிறோம் அதற்கான பணிகள் நடந்து கொண்டிருக்கிறது இந்த பணிகள் முடிவுற்று அந்த பள்ளியை நாங்கள் உருவாக்கிற நேரத்தில் நிச்சயமாக உங்களுடைய முதலமைச்சர் திரு கெஜ்ரிவால் அவர்களை நாங்கள் அழைக்க இருக்கிறோம் அவரும் வருவார் 